All right, what's up, Dividend Team? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another awesome episode I have here for you. Today, we're going to get some more stocks. Go over my investments that I have here on my account. We're going to purchase, purchase some more stocks. Check out the dividends I got for September. Look at next year's dividends. Always forward thinking. We want to be a millionaire one day. One day before we're 70, we want to be a millionaire. So this is what I do. I'm not a financial advisor. It's not financial advice. I'm just sharing with you what I do for my future and what I invest in. All right, let's go ahead and dive into this, guys. Let me shrink this screen down a little bit. So these are the ones I'm holding, which if you follow along, if you've been following along, you know what I have. So let's go back. That's how much I have in my account there. 91,631. And let's buy some stocks. What do you want to buy today? What do you want? What should I buy? Let's go over. So I can see here. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you should be able to see it. This column here is percent of account. That's percentage of how much I'm holding in the account. So right here it says that my PepsiCo is only 1.87% of my account. I want to pick those numbers up. Um, I really want each one to be like 5% of my account. So... Let's go to PepsiCo. Let's click on it. Let's see what it's about. Let's pull it up. Currently, it's at $160. Can y'all see that? $160? $170.69 is what it's at. So, let's look at a three-year chart. PepsiCo. Oh, had a good spike right here. May of 23. And it's been coming down, going up, coming down, going up, coming down. Let's look at three month. It's kind of going down right now from 180. It's dropping pretty good. I think we should pick some up because it doesn't really go much. Well, it goes down to 160 and we're at 170. And it goes back up. I think it's going to continue going up. I think it's going to go back up. Let's look at the dividend. That's what we do here. We look at dividends. 3.15% dividend. That's pretty good, guys. That is pretty good here. Third quarter, two dollars thirty cents, one ninety six. That's what they're project, projecting for first quarter, twenty twenty five. Second quarter, twenty twenty five, two forty four. Um, yeah, let's go and pick up some of these. How many do I want to pick up? How many do I want to pick up? Um, mm, let's pick up ten. If I so if it's one hundred seventy dollars right now, if I want ten of them, it's gonna cost me one hundred. Or $1,700 if I pick up 10. 10 to the oh, it says 110. We want 10. We want to do it at market. That's $1,708.30. We will review it. And we'll place order. And the order is placed. Okay, let's move. Let's move me over a little bit. There it is. All right, let's go back. Let's go back to this account here. So I just picked up 10 of PepsiCo. So that's pretty good. $1,700. Let's go back. So we want to... Now it's saying PepsiCo is 3.69%. Uh, Walmart. Walmart. Uh, Walmart's going to be a forever stock. I'm going to hold it forever and ever and ever. Get that dividend. But it says it's 2.62% of my portfolio. So let's click on Walmart. Buy some Walmarts. Let's look at that three-year chart of Walmart. Okay, climbing. Climbing, climbing, climbing. It's up 69.47% in three years. Dividend. Annual dividend is only 1.03 dollar or 1.03%. It's 83 cents. But it's going to continue to go and go, I think. In my opinion, I'm not a financial guru of everything in the world. But I think it's going to continue to go up. And here's the, uh, what they're projecting for 2025, 2026. That's the earnings that they're projecting. Um, Non-GAAP historical earnings. All the lovely hoopla there. Okay, let's go back up and buy some. How much does it cost? It costs $80. If I wanted to pick up 10, that'd be $800. 800 bucks for 10 more. Let's, let's buy 10 more. 
I'm going to put a zero here. Hope you can see that. Mark it. Okay, $806.30. Review it. Place order. Done. All right, let's go back. What else we want to buy, guys? Really good stuff here. Really good stuff. So these are all my equities up here on top. These are my ETFs down here. So I probably have way too many ETFs. Way too many ETFs. Um, it is what it is. I'm just going to continue holding them. Let me write down my book real quick. So we bought Pepsi. We bought Walmart. I got this little list. I got this cool book. This girl I used to talk to. It says, you are an awesome YouTuber. Keep that shit up. There you go. She got four beers for Christmas last year. And then she broke up with me. On today's page, it says, everyone was thinking it. I just said it. It's kind of blurry. You can't see it. Everyone was thinking it. I just said it. And if you work with me, you know that's how it goes. Everyone's scared to ask the question. I'll ask the question. All right, let's go back up here and buy some more stocks. So. Waste management, what are we going to do with our waste for the rest of our lives? It has to go somewhere. We got more and more people. We, we just put 15 million more people to this economy in the last three and a half years. Unexpectedly, we dropped 15 million more people to this economy. Where does their trash go? Somewhere. So we got waste management. We currently only have 15.3 shares of waste management. Waste management is going for... How much is waste management going for right now? Two hundred seven dollars and fifty one cents. So we got three year, three year chart. Woo! Look at that! Dang it, boy! Come up here. Annual dividend one point four five percent. That's good. But it's gonna continue climbing and climbing and climbing. All right, all right, all right, all right. This person says avoid. This person says buy. This person said four stars buy, two stars, A plus. So it's two hundred dollars. Dang it. It's two hundred dollars, two hundred seven dollars. If I pick up five of them, that's like a thousand bucks. Let's buy it. We're gonna pick up one, two, three, four, five for a thousand dollars. Market one thousand thirty seven dollars and eighty cents. Woo! Goodness, big money. Big money. Huge, huge monies. Okay, what else should we buy today? We need a couple. We need some uh, VOO, don't we? VOO is 24.47% of my total uh, holdings. Vanguard Vanguard total stock market ETF is 1.82%. Uh, this Invesco S&P 500 Garpeft, I forget, SPGP, I forgot what that was, but it's only 1.1%. I don't have very many of those. So this XYLD Global SP500 Covert Calls, I am up 5.22% of that. Let's see. I'm going to buy some more, though. It's only, it's only um, how much does it cost? It's only $41. I might get some more. Let's look at three year. Oh, I bought it over here, though. I didn't buy it three years ago. It dropped a lot. And why did it drop so much? So it's climbing, 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 and then... June of 22, it just dropped out, but it's still holding a good dividend. That's why I haven't bought any more. Well, it's a low like that, so I should buy some more. Of that. What? Let's buy 10 of them. It's like 400. Let's buy 10 of these. Market. $413. Picking up 10. Place order. Thank you. Okay, let's go back. All right, what else we want to buy today, guys? Oh, Realty Income. It's at $62.78 right now. I'm up 7.37%. It's a pretty good percentage of my holdings. So I don't really want to do more with that. Uh, Air Products is 3.47% of my holdings. We need to put some more there, but it's $300 a pop on Air Products. APD. APD. Hmm. Three hundred, two hundred ninety-five dollars and forty-nine cents. Let's look at that three-year APD. Up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down. 
it's all over the place here and it's climbing but it goes down it went all the way down to 220 something 213 219 and now it's up at almost 300 bucks but it was down over here i think it's too high to buy can't buy any right now guys can't buy any of that. i think it's climbing i think it's gonna go back down later after it hits the top Ford, I got 620 Fords. Makes up 7.1% of my investments. I don't mind taking this up to 10% of my total investment. LYB, I get these for cheap at work. 10% discount at work. So I'm not going to buy any here on the open market because I get 10% off at work. Wonderful, wonderful establishment. Uh, wonderful, great place to work. Walmart, we already got some of that. Coca-Cola. $71, kind of high right now. I don't want to buy when it's high. Okay, that might be all we're buying today. Let's go look at realized gain and loss. So, so this is where I sold a couple things. I lost money here. Tesla, I lost $992. I want to get out of it back in June. What was this? QQQY, that was dumb. I should, I should have never bought that. What was this? TSLY, those were just losers. I made a lot of money on Amazon, thousand dollars, thousand sixty-two, as you can see. So, income investment. Let's go over some numbers, guys. Let's go over some numbers. Can y'all see those numbers? Yes, you can. So, twenty twenty-four. Where are we at? We're in September twenty twenty-four. So far for this month, of September. I'm going to make $249.85 in dividends. I reinvest with dividends. Dividend snowball continues growing and growing and growing. Um, zero interest. And I have remaining $103.44. So my total is going to be like 350 something, 352, 353 for September. October is going to be $226. I'll show that. November $169. December $348.37. So next year, I should get estimated income is saying next 12 months, $2,971. It's probably going to be higher than that, I think. Is it? The other, my phone tells me $3,000 something, but. I don't know. Let's see what I got so far. Um, history. Who paid me this month? So, September 24th, I got uh, reinvested $45.71. So uh, five cents TD Bank. I don't know what that is. Bank interest. I got 62 or $26.73 that I reinvested into O Realty. They gave me $26.73 in my dividend, and then I reinvested my dividend. And then TSLY, Yield Max on September 9th, $26.23. Reinvested it. JP, JP Morgan Equity Premium Income ETF. They gave me $45.29. I reinvested it back into the program here. LYB, they gave me $58.29. I reinvested it, as you can see here. Reinvested it. Okay, what else did we get in September? Walmart, $6.23. Reinvested it. Ford, $87.03. I reinvested it. You know what I like to do. Uh, so, and this was uh, August XYLD, $22. So, that's what I got. History of September. Summary. Let's go to our summary and see what we got here. So $91,664.67, that's how much I got in my account. Um, I just bought a bunch of stuff, so I need to transfer $3,334 from my bank account into my Schwab account to cover everything I just bought today so I don't get hit with a bunch of interest. That's that. And then my positions, we already went over that and my positions. So guys, this is my, this is my goal want to retire before 60. I really want to retire like 55, 56, right? And everyone's like, you're going to get bored. Well, I'm always bored. So, but I want to be able to be, I want to be able to have enough money to 
lead, like be me. I don't want to be me on your rules. I want to be me for me with my own rules of my brain and be able to speak my thoughts out loud. So that's why I want to leave before I'm 60. You got like a ton of people just in their 60s, ton of cash in their bank account. They're so scared to just retire. Just, re just do it. You have the money. I know a guy at work. He said he's leaving at 55, the day of 55, for the because of the Secure Act 2.0, Rule of 55. You can withdraw from your 401k without the 10% penalty. So you have to pay your taxes, of course, but that's awesome. And I want everyone else to invest their money and just put some money away. Start when you're young, invest it. It'll be great when you're 60, 58. Put $100 a month or a week. Um, I have other videos that show what's going to happen when you invest for 30, 40 years. 100 bucks. 100 bucks a week. Have a pretty good amount of money. 100 bucks a month. Not as much money. Do 5200 a year from the age of 20 to 60. You have probably a million, million and a half. Depends on what you invested in. All right. Well, guys, I appreciate you stopping by my channel. Peace. Oh, yeah. Look at my cool Trump shirt. Oh, you can't see it. Look at that. Ooh. It's amazing. Peace. Stop recording.